poppers will come through the lower bracket. So I guess that means if if Einheit they take one map, they'll be winning. But I don't know. Yeah, one map and they win. Poppers they have to take two to win. I think oh, that's not. Okay. So it's like a, a broken best of three setup. Aren't Einheit meant to be um count three? No, it, um, it turns out that it's actually the other way around. It's uh, it's because they changed their name, but they can't change it on HLTV. So it is uh, it is Einheit that is oh. the uh, <clears throat> the correct uh, pronunciation or the correct uh, team here. And yeah, everyone is on the server, so I don't know, man. ESCA Open Grand Finals. I don't even know what's on the line here. I guess you could be uh, winning a, an invite to the uh, to the invite season next time. Yeah, um, there is actually a prize pool as well. Oh. Quickly look in this. Um, so the winner of this gets nine hundred dollars, um, which obviously doesn't sound like that much, but it's more. Uh, Sixteen teams from the invite season got because they didn't finish in the top. Eight. Yeah. So, Damn. I mean, if you're an amateur team like Poppers and Nine Height, then nine hundred dollars is pretty nice, especially because you uh, you get to advance to the invite uh, next season. It is. I mean, it's not just. Uh, it's nice because you get some some money in the bank. And I, I mean, if you're a team like this, you can use that money to go to a LAN or something, pay for some stuff that you otherwise wouldn't be able to afford. And it also must give you a boost of motivation to try and keep on putting a lot into it. I mean, you say an amateur team, but at the same time, Poppers they've been doing exceptionally well. I think it was this lineup, wasn't it, that actually took out the Western Wolves two to one in the complete the DK league. Maybe without Barry, but it oh, was yeah. certainly extra device snapping. I only the just know. Man, I wish the Danish teams would just like stick to one lineup and one team. Well, I think the thing is that <laughs> they have different lineups for different tournaments oh, right now. Yeah, of course. And ESEA started so long ago. Yeah, exactly. So it's really strange, but I think this is this could definitely be a very powerful lineup, and I think it's yeah. going to be all on Einheit to see if they could uh, if they could withstand the punishment that might be coming their way. No, Loma. Loma was so good in that game against Western Wolves. That is actually true, and he is definitely missing right now. And I just, uh, I'm just retweeting here. I see Christopher Allison, also known as Get, right, saying, "Hell yeah, winner of the first ESCA Global League. So happy right now." So um, yeah, the boys over at NIP, they're definitely happy about the victory, and they have every reason to be, and every right to be, in fact. So um, that's good to know. But I don't think actually, I think obviously Quantic, they must be feeling a little bit down about the fact that they lost that finals like that. But at the same time, I think once they get home and they regroup a little bit and look back at the run that they had in that tournament, they must still be feeling really good about themselves. Don't think they'll be going home with their, with their heads bowed low or anything like that. Anders, is this live? Uh, no, not yet. I think it is. Like, what? they didn't already up, but the device said T, and then everyone said have fun. And they look oh, to be playing my... quite seriously. God, yes, they are. Oh my god, I was actually, I was missing <laughs> yeah, the restart, I'm sorry, everyone. Oh man, so there we go. Exer is gonna take down Karari, and that's gonna open up the bomb site. Man, I was so confused right now. We've been casting for a long time, but still, I, I was absolutely never gonna expect that they were just gonna go live yeah. like that. I was waiting for like uh, you know three restarts and stuff like that. L O L. But here we go. Cease is gonna take down Ron over at the A bomb site. It's a three on three setup right now, and we're in the fourth round. Apparently, Poppers took the pistol round, and they took the subsequent tr two rounds. So that's a pretty standard setup. Now the fourth round, one that Einheit cannot afford to lose. Really need to win it, otherwise they're gonna be back to saving. And it's, I mean, how did they do this they're coming up two people on catwalk and one person and that is uh lowell coming down way here on a long and some there's two people waiting for him what a great headshot onto snappy but someone is still in the pit all oh, that seat and he's gonna get shot so much down he is eventually gonna go down two on one exa with a nice headshot and he's gonna flash on out buying himself a lot of time here exa. and exa has been playing so well it's a triple kill for him this round and it's a triple kill for lowell as well oh. How well played. Look. Time is running He's out. He's forced. Very good round there for uh, X. So triple kill. The bomb is going to go off. Four and zero is now the situation. Definitely have to pray, uh, praise Lowell as well, though. I mean, he got a quad kill in that round, so couldn't bring it to uh, to a victory for Einheit, but 
doing so much economic damage to poppers. Absolutely, very impressive. And Exa, he's seven and two at the moment. And um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know what are they gonna do now, Ironhide. It's a pistol round for them or an eco, and they're gonna put three people over an A long, and I think that's really nice. And uh, something that I'm going to test out right now is actually whether or not the auto structure is working because it wasn't working for ESG8 and here we go, it's certainly catching X's triple kill then and yeah, it's working, you can see it right then and there, device will take down, um, <clears throat> Kalaris, Kalaris, I don't know, how is that name pronounced? Kalus? Oh, who? Uh, Kaius? Yeah, I guess, Kaius? Is that it? Yeah. Yeah, I think Kaius. Kaius, we're going to say that, thanks. So bad with stuff like that. Lowell is the only one left alive. He's got that AK that he saved, but he's gonna have to save it once again. It's one on five. Yeah, I mean, it, he's playing the same role he did last game. Well, not last last round, where he uh, he is the guy that goes in defense B, but then he always rotates out of T spawn, and it just like it just takes that extra little bit of time instead of going through dark that can really cost your team. Yeah. He's gonna get found low there all around him. We will get one kill, but there are two people coming in from behind him and one person there. Oh, another kill, but then Device is gonna take him out. I wonder if they. I think they're gonna be able to save that all. Oh no, they do just in. Popper's really great start to this game. Absolutely. Myson hasn't even had a kill yet. <clears throat> they need to win two maps to uh, to win this grand finals, and uh, right now they're off to a great start. It's 5 0 right now for uh, for the Danish team. And Einheit finally with more. Um with more rifles, but it's going to be so difficult for them. Look, they're boosting up Albert. I know you love this strategy, and actually they're not boosting the Orber up. That's a little bit weird, I think. And they're boosting up down here too. They will take down Device. Great start for Piaris, and now... Let's see if they can keep going. Five to four here. Oh, and Snappy will take down one and two oh, headshots. God. All of them sprays down. Ron will take down Barry over there. And actually, I think that's actually Sukidron, isn't it? Three on two, though. Exa and Seath are the two people left alive for poppers. And actually, they're going up the catwalk here. And this could be really bad for them if they keep going, because... Yeah, there's an orb in this bomb set. And my son is just waiting to throw his flashback. Jumping up and down. <laughs> oh, he's taking what too is he long. doing, man? I don't uh... know. Sukidron... Missing that shot, and he's gonna be so careful. They're both waiting for him. They're gonna flash around the corner. He has to shoot at just the right time, and he's gonna go down to nice Exa. Shot. Poppers retaking that side with relative ease. Bomb has been planted. Now Kiari is all alone. Ooh. Grenade not doing too much damage. Jumping up, seeing if he can get any kills with that. He really wants to spot them out more. He's not going to get anything. See if we'll take him down a double kill and pop us. They bring it back 6 and 0 is another score. Einheit looking like they're really not able to do anything against this lineup. Oh and 6 scoreline. The terrorist side is favorable on Dust 2, but I think uh, I think they're still looking for much more right now than just... Uh, the, yeah, just, uh, definitely. I mean, Einheit, they're actually been forced to buy, so, uh, well, I don't know if I can say forced to buy, well, yeah. It's a full buy, but with no kill. One yeah. for one, good start for Popper. Two for one, really great. Indeed, Snappy trying to see if he can get down Kaios over here, and he will do it. And that's going to be Lowell coming in to take one down, but it's a two on three situation. And, um... Kiari, he's down here in the in the uh, CT spawn waiting, seeing if he can catch anyone jumping through. A lot of smoke going on, and Lowell is actually coming in from the same angle. Nice flash coming up here. He's going to run in with his back turn with that Hamas. will take down Barry. Great job. Now it's a 2 on 2 situation. The bomb is going to go down, but as you said, they have no kill. Um, yeah, and there's still weak, and there's a grenade coming. Oh no, they're too far away. They knew that grenade was coming. There is another one grenade is... though. Oh, that's oh gonna no, that's early. not gonna land. How disappointing. Nice headshot. Good shot. Exa going down with Seath, look at that. Just waiting way down in the pit, almost no chance. Misses the first shot, but Kiori is gonna go down. And look, one kill each for Poppers that round. 7-0 and is the scoreline. And this is looking like Poppers have uh, come really well prepared for this grand finals here.
Again, if you're just joining us, this is the ESCA Open uh, Grand Finals. So I didn't even know this was happening, and we've been starting a little bit confused here, but we're finally into it. Einheit up against Poppers, the uh, Spanish team, I think it is, up against the Danish team. And Spanish team actually coming, or Einheit coming, all the way up from the upper bracket. So Poppers, they're the ones who have to win two maps to win it, and they're definitely doing a good job of that right now. Let's look at the vice. He's gone all the way over here to the uh, tunnels, and he's going to be walking on a number of people. Oh, they have shotguns with them, but the vice doesn't care. He's got... What is that? It's a negative. <laughs> oh, he gets four people oh with it. Oh my god. Oh. I mean, it was against an eco round, so that's why he was able to get all those kills. Yeah, but Kirari's going to pick Kari. it up. Yeah, picking it up. You've nah. Seen it new I hope they save the Negev, man. Yeah, they do. <laughs> oh, you've seen it here. The new Counter Strike meta game. The Negev coming out. Excellent play. This is something the other grand finals we cast did not feature. Nobody bought a Negev on Quantic or on NIP. Maybe that's what Quantic needed. There we go, X is going to take one down early on. It's looking like poppers, they're just enjoying themselves right now. Einheit, yeah, how did they bring are. it back at the moment? Snappy's planning the bomb already. Einheit just uh, playing a little bit cluelessly. Oh, that nega. Extremely strong cover and fire. Here comes <laughs> a big grenade. Oh, look at it! Man, if you burst fire with a Negev, it is surprisingly accurate when you consider it's got 150 bullets in a clip. It definitely seems like it. Oh man. What a situation we've got going on here. It definitely seems like... Um... Definitely seems like Poppers, they're way on top, and Einheit, how could they bring it back right now? I mean, this is so frustrating, because when you're playing up and against an opponent that's doing exceptionally well, it's not just that, you know, you start to be doing, you know, if they're also sort of just having fun with it and doing silly things, then you really get frustrated and you start to do things that you maybe otherwise wouldn't have to. You forget your sort of your core game a little bit. Something that Einheit have to be really careful about here. So cute one, gonna come over here, see if he can take anyone down up on the catwalk. He's playing this position, which is, in my mind, Fox's favorite position, but he's not going to get it. Fox from Virtus Pro playing that position so well, but going to fall back down. Lowell going to get down very five on one now. Finally, a bit of an opening for Einheit. They need to keep on going, but they've been in an upper hand situation before and they've thrown it away. Sukitron waiting for anyone. It's going to be Seath who's going to peek out here. Can he get the kill though? A minute left on the clock. Oh, he sees him then. Oh, he's going to get the kill on C. Very good job. And then gets taken down by Exa, who just ran out without a care in the world. And now they're going to put the bomb down with 50 seconds left. Can they retake the site, Ironhide? That's the real question. Lowell jumping up here. Snappy with the negative. Getting one <laughs> and getting two. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! Is it gonna Man, be is a... there anything more insulting than getting shredded by a nega? Probably not. <laughs> oh, fantastic! Ten zero. Ten zero. And again, I just want to point out that Einheit they did make their way through the upper bracket, whereas Poppers they're coming through the lower bracket. They need to win two maps, and right now they're just five or six rounds away from winning the first map here on Dust Two. The next map is gonna be Mirage, if I'm not mistaken. No, that's gonna be Nuke. Sorry. Nuke is the second man. Yeah. Well, I mean, the thing is that, that um, Einheit actually beat Poppers in, like, the winner's bracket. Oh, so it's kind of crazy that it's 10 0 and more kills with the Nega. Finally gonna get brought down. Seath, really in trouble here. Takes a lot of damage. It's 4 on 2. This could be Einheit's first round in this uh, matchup. X are gonna go down to Zakit Ron. Nice shot. C with 44 HP in a one on four situation. Not looking very winnable. 
gonna come out here. I'm gonna go down to my zone. So nice round there for uh, for Einheit, but probably a really small consolation considering the uh, the situation that they're in right now. Yeah, I mean, it's looking to poppers now. They've decided to run two orbs. So if they can get a pick off, oh, they missed both their shots, but there we go. Down goes Sukit, the orper of, of Einheit. Getting shot. Mate, there. Caius Definitely. has got his own Nega. Fighting back. Fight fire with fire and negative with negative. So four and three is now the situation. See. They've got two AWPs, one on Seath and one on Snappy, and Device has got that AK. It is 4 and 3, but Poppers have proven time and again in this matchup already that they are perfectly capable of having having in a disadvantage situation turn in their favor all of a sudden. Myson up here, look how low they are there on I-Height. Two out of their four pairs are really low. Myson gonna fall on back. Some good grenades coming in here, could do some damage if they land perfectly. But it's not enough, and there we go, Device will take down one. And now Karari over here, can he get the shot off on anyone? Oh, he misses that! Such a nice idea, but it wasn't good enough. Where is that Negev? Device will take down Lowell. Snappy will take down Karari now. It's just Kaya's left, and... He's actually got an AWP now, throwing away the Negev. That has to be bad luck, at least in one country. Now, 11 to 1, guys, we're still in the first half of the first map. This is the ESCA Open Grand Finals, and Einheit in a fight for their lives. They came through the upper bracket, and Poppers, they came through the lower bracket, so they have to win two maps, and they are dangerously close to doing j j just that. It looks like they're almost playing a little bit with Einheit, and Einheit are forced back to just pistols now. Oh, actually, nice shot there. Meissen gonna get one down with the with the, with the back seven, and then gonna pick up a, in any case, so not bad at all. 3 to 3 is the situation. See if they can keep going. Oh, device will take down my son. That AK not doing anything. Lowell coming in here wants to get a kill through the middle, maybe, but the bomb is already down, so they have no kits or anything. No chance of winning this round. Device shooting through. Oh, Karari is going to get even down two on two. Snappy misses that shot, and oh, he's in a really bad position now. Going to be brought down. Really good job here. Seath is waiting, but they can't even go in here. They they must know that. Yeah. Get a fall back. Terrorists win. And now it is 1 to 12. The 14th round, Albert. It kind of seems like Povis is in a different league from Einheit right now. Yeah, it's incredible. I don't really know what Einheit can do. It looks like. Um, I mean, the problem is, uh, ESCA, like, these lineups are from so long ago, and they were locked lineups, so you can't change them. Feels like poppers are just good players, and I know their lineups have too many problems. Yeah, my son will take down Exo, and look at that device, has got a Nugget Negev. Negev action, jumping down with it as Negev's well, and everywhere. keeps on spraying. Oh, there are two Negevs, one on Snappy as well. Oh, this is brutal. Device, burst firing with what can be considered a heavy machine gun. Oh, finally coming in with some kills here is Mice on the Lowell, but it's two on three and that negative is still in play. And look at that. <laughs> Gonna bring one down, see if can he stay alive up here. That grenade will land right in his face, but look behind him, his device coming up with a kill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my son, one on two, he can do this, they're very low. But device is gonna oh catch him. Oh my god, it's an ace with the negative. A Negev ace that might just be a first in uh, in Counter Strike Go history, and this is actually a grand finals, and this is the ASCA open bracket, but still, just not something I was expecting. Device making CS:GO history. 
Yeah. Ridiculous. Fantastic. 13 to 1, the final round of the first half. This is still the first map, and it looks like Poppers, they're just gonna. They're just gonna want to take a very quick victory here and put it onto the second map, which is gonna be Nuke. And wondering if Iron Hide can do anything to uh, to stop the onslaught on that map. Oh, look at the nervous shotgun gonna come out here, but there is the Negev. Oh, it's gonna get brought down though, but Snappy actually still has one. Oh man, 13 to 1. Oh, it's a knife kill, Exa, how did he get that? Noel coming in with one, this is silly. I, I, they can't do anything. They really cannot. At least that uh, this could potentially turn into a fantastic frag movie at some point because... Yeah. <laughs> look at this stuff. <laughs> Snappy <laughs> will take him down 14 Whoa. to 1 for the first map. It's just a slaughter. It's so hard to say, oh, I know how should do this because when you lose 14-1, basically nothing is going right. Oh man, I don't know. <clears throat> I really don't know. Everyone is readying up. Some people are saying Doc Gavin as well. Always a good thing. And I don't know. Einheit, I think the mentality they have to adopt right now is simply to say that, um, okay, we made it this far, but then what can we learn? If we want to participate in the next season of the SCA Open, how do we, how do we adjust? How do we get better as players? And then uh, maybe if they can string some rounds together on you, maybe they could end up in a situation where they they can say, okay, how did those rounds actually work? Why were they better than the other rounds? And then they can try and learn a little bit from themselves. That might be a situation that they could actually use it for something, but definitely not going to be easy. Four and one now. Let's see. Sorry, 14 and one, obviously. The second round about to commence here. The second half on the first map still. ESCA Grand Finals Open bracket if you are wondering since you joined and we've been seeing some really fun and interesting counter-strike but also some really one-sided counter-strike poppers dominating massively let's see if it's going to continue this way exo over here pushing up on a long and here's to keep Ron coming in here can they get the kill they need one oh that nice play there and now lol with a kill on snappy Very nice. device has got the dual barretta taking down one and he's going to keep on going two on four Device looking to make it two on three, and we'll do that. And look at that, they're all coming up. Device, he's an actual cowboy. Oh, he's gonna get taken down. C is all alone with a Glock against three people. Uh, he should not be able to win this oh, but situation. the bomb's here. That's his one advantage. Oh, it is actually here, but they're gonna run him down. Well played, Einheit. They take the pistol round, and now maybe they could build some more stuff off of this. Oh, man. What is going on right now? <clears throat> there was a Molotov there on um, on Einheit, I feel like. I wish we could see more Molotov. That's such a great Yeah. Weapon. Snappy in the middle with the Deagle. Oh, he wants to do some old school Counter-Strike action with that. I have to I have to see that. I want to see if he can do it. My son will take down Barry. So good early kill for Einheit. Five on four. Snappy is looking so dedicated. Gonna go down to mice on Snappy then. Deagle not doing anything. Exo will get one kill, but actually Device has got one too. And so Seath, it's Deagles all around, and they've not done anything. Maybe they can find Lowell over here. Or they just miss him. And look, someone believes in the chat. Benk is saying uh, Einheit gonna turn this around. Device will get a kill on Lowell finally with that Deagle, but. Device waiting there, we'll get a perfect shot. This is why the deal is so cool. And he's gonna get down. Both of them actually go down. Poppers losing all their players. And Einheit, they take a another round. Very good here. 14 to 3 is now the current situation. But now let's see, because Poppers, they're soon gonna be having rifles. Not in this round, but the next one. Yeah. I mean, they, they've, they've not been doing bad getting two kills in that, in that round. It's not a total disaster, but they're still... But to, be, to be honest, I don't think they're going to be too worried anyway. Even if they lose the 4th round, even if they lose the 5th round, they've got 14, they only need 2 rounds at all. Absolutely. I don't 
no poppers looking like <clears throat> they're really well motivated and you should set nine hundred dollars on the line for the first place if you win here not bad for a team that uh that could be I mean, playing two rounds like this and then uh maybe making it through could really be nice for them barry waiting outside here can he get any kills they have taken down lol but that's about it pretty good grenade coming out from einheit really nice uh, timing then Ferrari is going to try and see if he can put the bomb down here. Barry, is he going to get it on time? No, he won't. My son, trying to gun it out. Get the shot off. Trying really desperately. Einheit, they have to be careful that they don't oh, have any rifles or anything. Look how cool that Monosov is. Not even sure where that Monosov landed. It was, um, it was in the double doors, so you couldn't come through the main entrance. Oh. I mean, I'm, it, the thing is though, is it really better than a smoke? I mean, with a smoke, it means you're protected, and they can't. And like, if they come through, you're going to see them first. It's hard to say whether the Molotov is is the. I mean, it costs two hundred dollars more as well. <clears throat> but still, nice to see. Yeah, pretty nice to see. I mean, I think the Molotov is actually. I mean, something we can talk about while we're watching this. Because, as we said, poppers, they are really vastly ahead, and um, I think like now they have the rifles, they might just be able to take this map really quickly. But the Molotov is actually maybe one of the one most underused weapons, and it is very good. And the discussion you're, you're sort of invoking here, is it better to have a Molotov than a smoke grenade, is one that really I think most people haven't really been thinking much about. And this is something we should really be uh, maybe concentrating about. As we said a little bit during the last cast, we will be uh, trying to see if we can get up some sort of NIP talk show where we can talk to some of the players, maybe uh, talk to Heaton every once in a while and talk to uh, some of the other players that we can maybe get in contact with, see if we can have some people on the show. And something we should definitely focus on is that Molotov. How, I mean, why? is If it is better to have a smoke, exactly why is that? And is it better in every situation? That's definitely the topic we should think about because uh, I think the Molotov actually has some real use and uh, and can be used yeah. in a really nice way. But it's difficult, and it's up to the in-game leaders or at least the tacticians to try and see if they could make it work in a, in a proper way. We've seen the Russians actually, I think, have been uh, putting it to great use, but they also seem to be the only one who actually do it. And oh, look at this! Um, complete shredding from, uh, as you said, from Poppers. There, 15-4 on the first map here, and Poppers really looking to punish Einheit. I definitely think that um, as the game is getting more and more figured out, Molotovs are going to start to be used more. Like, NIP, a lot of the reason why their games on Nuke were getting so close is that other teams were predicting their strategies. And, and obviously, NIP, they've been struggling uh, with practice time recently because they've been to so many tournaments, so it's difficult to come up with these new strategies. Now that they've got time to take a break, uh, recuperate, and start coming out more, I wouldn't be surprised, or at least I would hope that uh, we're going to see some stuff where you're using Molotovs to kind of uh, make the other team rotate in a, a way that isn't productive. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And uh, I... Like, making them take like a longer route. Yeah, that's definitely a nice way of doing it, and... I mean, there are the other sort of uses for the Molotov, I think. Oh, look at the device. He's going to... Oh, actually, it's a keep on going to do it point blank range. Pretty good shot then. And Seath is now all alone as three people. But I think um, I think another way to use the Molotov really is um, is to use it once you've planted the bomb if you're a terrorist. Because we see it very often that, that the CTs, they want to, you know, try and zone out the... the the incoming um the incoming terrorists so that one guy is defusing and the rest of the CTs they're covering. But if you can get in range where you could throw in a Molotov instead of a grenade, then a Molotov will leave you know will leave burning on the ground and then you know you could just uh you can just wait for them to burn to death when they're trying to defuse. That's something we've seen really rarely and I actually remember that was my first thought when I way back when I heard that there was gonna be a Molotov in Counter Strike I was really angry. I said, Oh no, you know, this is not like one point six and uh, all of that stuff. But um and then I thought about it and I said, Well you know, it's going to be massively overpowered. What if you try and defuse the bomb? What if you try and plant the bomb and someone is going to sort of throw a Molotov where you're, where you're sitting? Then, you know, it's going to ruin the game and stuff. But we've never even seen that happen maybe once or twice. And I feel like that's something that could be used maybe on some maps and maybe not all maps, but especially a map like uh, Dust here, Dust 2. The A bomb site, imagine how many places you could throw a Molotov. I'm just drawing on the minimap here. If you put the bomb down and someone is trying to defuse it, you throw a Molotov up there if you have the perfect angle for it, and then you get uh, you stop them from doing that for a very long time. And that could actually be uh, really useful, yeah. I think. Exactly. X are gonna get down Ironhide Mice on there. 
four and three situation. Einheit, they're definitely fighting back right now, and we actually have to give them some credit for doing that because uh, they have brought it up to five rounds in total here. And they're gonna see if they can take Seath down. He's in this bomb site. He misses the shot, and nice shot from Sakit. One will take him down two on four. And here's X are gonna go down. Device has got a scout, and he's on one on three or four, four situation. Definitely not gonna be looking to win this round. He's got no kit either. Device missing that shot. Nice grenade coming out here. Device will get the next shot off. The scout is such a funny weapon. And uh, it's not just a joking weapon. We've seen people play it. I remember I have seen Forrest on a train by a scout in a, in a really strange eco run coming out from NIP. I can't remember who they were playing. Were they playing Navi, I think, actually? Yeah, I think there was Navi in the SLTV finals or Mapes, but um, definitely seen Forrest use that weapon really well. Yeah. Oh, tank CSGO saying Albert, uh, Anderson Albert should be casting every CSGO game and paid for it. That would definitely be cool. I mean, that's kind of a dream of, uh, of ours. Can't imagine a better job in the world than casting Counter-Strike GO every day, but um, it's not easy doing it, and it requires some hard work, which is what we're trying to put into it. Obviously, we can still improve a lot as casters, so uh, yeah, man. We're hoping that if we keep on doing it for long enough, someone is going to eventually notice and be like, yes, we should pay you lots of money for this. <laughs> there we go, Meissen gonna take down Barry. Einheit, they're really fighting back, they do, don't, don't want to give this up just yet. They put Poppers just back to just pistols, it's 5 on 3 at the moment. Meissen gonna take down Seath. Exos coming in here, but they've got nothing but pistols. Device has got a deagle. Can we see some great deagle action coming out? Oh, gonna miss that shot. Gonna miss more shots and gonna fall back. Obviously, this round firmly in the hands of Einheit. Nice shot. Oh, and that's gonna be the end of it. This is a really great comeback from Einheit. But definitely is. I mean, they've brought it up to uh, to so many rounds right now. Considering it was uh, was it like fourteen one or was it thirteen two or something like that for the first half? I think it was actually fourteen one. Then they win the pistol round on the terrorist half, and they keep on going for a very long time. Thumbs up for Einheit for doing so incredibly well here on the terrorist half. Let's see if they can keep on going. I feel like Poppers. They need to step it up once again. They don't want to be letting this go with such a massive lead. Device in the middle with a deagle. Snappy up here. With just a Mag 7 and Exa, who's gonna run into anyone? That's the question though. Exa might be the one to do it over here. So much smoke going on though. Oh, and there we go. Secrete one gonna take what down device over in the B bomb side. Great job. Now, see if it's all alone in here. Can he stop them? We'll take down one, but can he get the orbit down? That's the question. No, he can't. They open up that bomb site. Well played. Barry gonna try and flash in, stop them from going all the way in there, but it is a 4 and 3 situation, and Barry. Can he buy his team time? Snappy could actually come in from behind. He's in a great position. Oh, but look at that. Barry with a great kill. But the Orber is still alive. Snappy coming in from behind is going to go down. And oh, so one has got a triple kill this round. And he's playing fantastically with this Orb. Definitely impressed by that. Now it's a one on three. Exa is all alone. And the bomb has just gone down. Oh, and he gets hit by that Orb. And a great grenade coming in. Einheit playing this uh, this really well. Finally, the orb are going to go down, but look, he's almost dead. And there we go. Kaius is going to be the one to take him down. 15 to 8. Einheit, they take another round off of Poppers here. And looking closer and closer yeah. to maybe making this. They're, they're doing a quantic, aren't they? they? The game's almost out of reach, and they finally decide to stop. Definitely. Seems like yeah, it. I mean. And look at I mean, look at this uh, score. Um, the top fragger on um, on Einheit, twelve and two yeah. right now. Very impressive. And Poppers back to saving again. They keep sort of semi buying, and they need to stop doing that. They need to take this game very seriously right now. So to keep one, gonna get down. Device Caesar's over here. He's getting taken massive grenade damage, and he's gonna go down. And right behind him is X. Actually, X are coming in here as well. 
Barry coming in with great kill, it's three on one, but it's not enough. Barry is surely gonna go down here, he's all alone and all out in the middle of everything, and that's gonna be it, a triple kill for um Kaius again, and now it's gonna be 15 to 2 for him. What a run right now. Surely they're gonna win now at last. They've got the double AWP setup, which is the most prolific setup on CT side. Double AWP can do so much damage because you've got someone covering middle and, and short with one, and you've got someone covering the A with one. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the double orb has been has been working like magic on Dust2 for a very long time. Device in the middle is going to go down to Lowell. Great shot with that AK. He was partially flashed as well, but he does do it, taking him down to 28 HP, but the kill is still in his favor. Five on four. Seath covering this bomb site. This is an expensive round if they lose at Poppers. And look at that. Seath in the corner. He's almost completely locked in. Oh, he gets a shot off on Sukeetron. Very important. Tries to no scope, but no Myson will take him down. See if he needed backup and it wasn't there and there we go Kaori is gonna take down Snappy now It's 4-2 to two. extra coming in from behind, but this is well played from Einheit. What a crazy comeback I honestly, I mean they're gonna take this round as well. It's just it Is a crazy comeback. There's nothing else for Kaya's 15 and 2 now This is gonna be nine rounds in a row when they win this one for um for Einheit. And I'm pretty sure that Barry was just shooting an exit that is looking at each other. And boom. 15-10 is the score, still the first map. Poppers, they need to win two maps. They need this one and the next one. They're just one round away from doing it, but Einheit, they're really sticking to it. They don't want to give it up. They like like they find they found their uh, their rhythm again and now they just want to keep going. Five more rounds for overtime. The people in the chat, they're really excited for Einheit right now, and I have no reason to uh, to um, <clears throat> wonder about why that is, man. They're, they're just doing fantastically. Myson gonna take down Exer. It's a four and five situation. Einheit with the first opening kill. <laughs> Albert, this is definitely, without a, re without a doubt, gonna be the most incredible comeback we've ever seen. And I'm, <laughs> I was getting so ready yeah. to rule Einheit out completely. I was thinking, I mean, Poppers, they were buying, um, they were buying negatives. They were just joking around, and it was looking like it was gonna be some sort of public stomp game. But right now, they're really sticking into it. So, mad props to uh, the Spanish team for doing so incredibly well. Device gonna go down, my son, and there we go, Kirari taking down Seif, how are they doing so well all of a sudden? Barry here, fighting for his life, will take down one, but it's a one on four situation for him. Barry all alone. Is he gonna go down, they get anything done? No, just not even a single kill, not that it would matter because I might have got so much money. They've got four more chances to take around poppers. Yeah, but four they... more chances. The problem is they're so low on cash all the time. It, whenever they lose a round, they're almost going to be back to saving again. Look at Barry, making a really critical choice. He's buying one M4, and I mean, if he doesn't do anything with it, then it could be it could be ruining the whole uh, the whole day here for poppers because they could end up actually in a situation where they can't afford to buy for a number of rounds in a row. And Einheit, they are really motivated right now. Okay, so Keat one will get the shot on Seath. Down to 2 HP though. Barry with that M4 really has to get something done here. Nice shot from Device, Barry in the middle. If they can guess where Einhard are going, that's gonna make all the difference in the world right now. Snappy, he's covering it over here on A long, trying to make sure no one is gonna come through there. And Einhard, look at this, they're guessing correctly, they're going up here. This is really great play from them. Snappy gonna go down, they completely fool Barry, who thought they were gonna go and B, and now this M4 is not gonna be able to do really much at all. Extra coming up, we'll go down to my son. My son been playing so well in the last couple of rounds. He's up to 12 and 7 as well. And Device and Barry just gonna hang back. They've managed to retrieve that one AWP, and they have the M4 that he bought early on, but it's gonna be 12 to uh, 15 here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
incredible comeback on the on the on the path here for Einheit. Yeah. Something they can feel. I don't know, you still just have to assume that Poppers are finally gonna take a You don't win 14 1 and and then lose 14 1, like the map balance isn't like that. It's not like terrorists are unstoppable. No, definitely not. They, they just poppers just have to dig deep and say, "Come on, guys!" Like if we were messing around, we kind of lost our focus a little bit. But if like if poppers lose this game, then they lose everything, right? Like Einheit, they came from the upper bracket. Yeah. They beat they beat poppers actually in overtime on Mirage, like 19 to 17, in in the winners bracket. And uh, this rematch looks like Einheit is saying, "Well, actually, we're not ready to give up yet." I mean, that would be completely incredible. If this goes to overtime and they beat them yet again, poppers are gonna be... are gonna be reading really, really bad about themselves. And this is, I mean, as we said, they were screwing around at some point. They were going for um, for just negatives and having fun with that stuff, but that could come back to bite them massively. And oh, how badly... They're, they're gonna be so badly about it if that's what's gonna happen. Oh, Mice is gonna take down Extra in the middle. All will take down Device. They're playing so well, Ironhide, right now. This is fantastic to watch. Poppers, how can they bring it back? Oh, Seek will take down one, but he's going to go down to Sakitron, who's also been playing fantastically, and now it's back to two on four, and it's more saving coming in from Poppers. Bomb has been planted. And Fat Cat 707 saying Poppers got Ironhide super mad, and that is definitely what's happening right now. How could it be happening? I mean. How can you be up 14 to 1 and then all of a sudden be 15 to 12? That is actually what's happened here, and... Einheit were looking so far down and out. Maybe a lesson to uh, to those of us casting the game here that you should never ever rule a team out. Look at Sukitron taking down Snappy and Barry is now 1 against 3 and are they going to be able to find him? I don't think so. Not going to be found. Oh 15 to 13. God. Two more rounds and the equalize bringing it to overtime and yeah. poppers. Surely they can feel the pressure on themselves right now. Snappy and Zeef once again both with an all. One of those guys, they both only got four kills in the second half. A 13 round. They have to step it up. Have to land their shots now. It's now on their. It definitely is. Look at Exa. He's actually all the way up here. Can he get the right kill off, he's turning around for it, oh you think he saw someone over there, oh he misses the shot, can he get it now, they need the over to kill, Exa, oh he's gonna go down, my son has been getting the opening kill every round, for the past 10 rounds, he's been playing a massive, massive counter strike go here for you, and Barry in the pit waiting for him, 5 on 4 is now the score, Snappy finally gonna get a kill on my son, I feel like that's very important, they just need one round, pop us and it's 4 on 4, can they keep going, Einheit all down the middle here, the question is, where are they going to take this bomb? Right now they're going over to the B bomb site through the tunnels and over there is Teeth waiting for them with an AWP. This could be very good for Poppers if he can get that first shot off. Is he going to do it? Look at that! Oh, he will do it. So Keith Ron, just a little bit hesitant. He was walking back and forth a while and Seath will take that shot. So now it's four and three. Poppers, maybe just finally gonna be able to close off this but I think that was a bit of a scare for them see if they can bring it all the way home devices in the middle are missing that shot and has to fall back a little bit they're gonna go up uh, the catwalk see if they can get anything done snappy's waiting for them here 10 seconds sorry 15 seconds left now kind of flashing out the bomb they need the bomb planted right now they oh can't afford God. to do it in 10 seconds oh snappy taking it's all on to cut no it's at last Oh, triple kill for Woo! Snappy. Yes, indeed. 16-13 for the first map here on...